kidney dissection. Today's video is about dissecting a lamb kidney. And when you receive your sample, it will come with the fat attached. This fatty layer is there to protect the delicate surface of the kidney organ. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the excess fat from the kidney. This should easily come away with just a few little nicks. So small little incisions around the edge of the kidney and you can see the fat starts to want to peel away. We want to be particularly careful where the kidney joins on this side because there's going to be vessels that we can investigate later. So very gently remove the fat without cutting into any of the organ. So once we've removed the fat, we can see the more familiar bean-shaped kidneys. Now I have a pair of kidneys here, so there's one would be on the left and one would be on the right of the body. And with our kidney this side, we can see the vessels that are attached. And there will be three vessels that you can identify at this stage. The ureter, the renal artery and the renal vein. Each of which come out from the same middle section of that bean-shaped kidney. When identifying the vessels entering and leaving the kidney, the ureter will be the vessel that is most covered in fat. The artery will be the thicker and the vein being the thinner of the vessels. So on this kidney, I have trimmed off the excess ureter, artery and vein to make cutting the dissection more straightforward. You can cut the kidney clean in half with scissors or scalpel to open it out like a book. Be careful not to cut into those vessels and you simply snip all the way through. It's quite soft tissue and you can see you can start to open it. So the kidney organ is symmetrical so you want to keep continue your cutting all the way down the centre until you have two halves opened up. When our kidney is opened up, we can use a seeker to probe inside the areas that we can identify and then discuss the functions that they have. This outer layer of the kidney, which is this darkish brown colour, we refer to as being the cortex. Identified by the blue pin. Moving inwards, each segment that you can see inside the kidney, we refer to as being a pyramid. Identified by the pink pin. The darker red color and a darker red because it's a higher density of blood vessels, is the medulla. The yellow pin. And then feeding into the center area, we have what we call the pelvis. And this is the green pin. It's the pelvis then that feeds into the ureter that we cut off in earlier in the dissection and transports the excretionary products out of the kidney towards the bladder. So when we are looking at the inner components of the kidney, the pelvis is a hollow structure because it feeds into the ureter. And extending from here are collecting ducts which go into the medulla. And if you prise slightly back the soft tissue of the medulla, you can see the tubules that connect, collecting ducts reach into the medulla, which are connected to the nephrons. And there are approximately one million nephrons per kidney, and they are the functional unit of the kidney. 
so the kidney, of which all humans and mammals have a pair of. Its function is to remove toxins from the body and regulate water content in the blood. This means that there is a complex process of excretion and reabsorption steps. As well as the kidneys function in osmoregulation, it also plays a part in blood pressure and calcium metabolism.